monday.com personal use tutorial how to use monday.com for just yourself hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be talking about monday.com and how you can use this for your very own personal use now monday.com is obviously a very famous very incredible work management project management task management system okay and on this you can manage your work or your projects or your tasks in the easiest way possible it gives you the best idea of how you are going to want to do all of this it gives you the best idea of how task management actually works how project management actually works and you get a generosity and a general vibe and aesthetic of how the projects actually work so i'm going to be walking you through all of it and i'm going to be showing you how you can actually do this in the easiest ways possible. Now, to start things off, obviously, this is more of my work side. So I'm gonna go ahead and log out of this account to show you how you're gonna create an account specifically made for your personal use. So it brings you here. And uh, I'm gonna now, once I've logged out, I'm gonna go to log into another account. And once you're over here, I'm gonna click on sign up. Now, once we click on sign up here, you are going to want to enter an email for yourself. Okay. You're going to want to uh, let them know about your email. Now, the fun thing about monday.com is that it takes no charges from you. All it needs from you is your email and your password. So I'm going to add my email. All right. And I'm going to click on continue. And once you do that, you're going to add in your name and then you are going to add in your password. Once you do that, click on next. And it says, Hey there, what brings you here today? Now, obviously, we're here for personal work, right? So I'm going to go with personal and click on next. Now, it says select what you would like to manage first. You can always add more in the future. So, you know, there's you can use it for software development. You can use it for operations. You can use it for legal, HR and recruiting, marketing, nonprofits, sales and CRM, design and creative, project management authorization. You know, there's uh, education, product management, et cetera, et cetera. So you can use it for anything. You can use it for all the reasons you want. If you don't want it to be managed in those ways, you can click on next. And now you can go with, you know, content calendar. You can go with that. Or you have task management. You can go with that. Now, in your personal life, I would say task management makes more sense. So I'm going to go with that and click on continue. Here it says one last question. How did you hear about us? You can go through with friend or colleague and just click on next okay this is not too much of an important part okay so you can skip that and uh, it's gonna help you just get straight into the main page okay now once we do this what we're gonna be doing is here it says who else is on your team you can actually invite them with a link you can invite them with an email however you want but I'm just gonna go ahead with remind me later I don't want to invite anyone right now because obviously, if it's personal, I don't think you would actually enjoy adding anyone else to your workspace. Okay, so I'm going to skip that bit. Now, once we do that, it brings us here. Let's start working together. You're going to name your first board. So I'm going to call it my week. Okay, I'm going to call it my week and I'm going to go that. Now it says select the relevant columns that you're going to need for your board. So you have the owner column, the status column, the due date column, files, last updated, priority, budget, timeline, and notes. So you have all the necessary columns that you're going to need to add for your board, okay? And uh, the necessity of these columns are pretty uh, basic, okay? They help you a lot and they give you a general idea of how you're going to stick along with them. So what we're going to do after gaining that knowledge is we're going to go ahead and click on next. So once you do that, here's to select one of the items you would like to manage. Obviously, if I am in the personal management system, I'm gonna go with tasks, out of view, layout. Now, this is the fun part. In most project management softwares out there, I'm pretty sure you are fond of this, that you don't get a lot of views, for free at least. You do get a lot of views, but you don't get them for free. So as you can see over here, you can add your table, cards, Kanban, calendar, Gantt timeline view, all for yourself in one timeline, in one project workspace. And wait for it. It's totally for free. You give no charge. You give nothing to them. So once we do that, here are your tasks. Okay. So my week, first of all, in my week, uh, I'm going to obviously keep it task one, task two right now. And now I'm going to click on get started. Now here's the my week task. 
and we can give this different names. So this is your basic interface, okay? So first of all, we go on this week and I'm gonna call it, uh, let's say Monday, obviously. So you have Monday, then you have Tuesday, all right? You can add a new group, call it Wednesday, okay? Then obviously you go on and on and on, you give it Thursday, you give it, um, you know, uh, Friday, whatever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead Thursday. There we go. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and obviously Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You can add that later on for yourself if you want to. But yeah, that gives you a general idea. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's say in Monday, we have all these tasks, right? So I'm gonna write over here in task, uh, let's say uh, write thesis, okay? I wanna write the thesis, I'm gonna write that. And you have second task off Monday, let's say um, water the garden, for example. And then, um, you know, you could go with something like uh, fix the shed or fix the garage door. So, you know, you could ask add in daily tasks like these for yourself. So you can get a an idea of how to work with these. And then you can give them a sense of urgency for yourself as well. So if you're stuck, you can go with stuck. If you're doing, if you're done with them, go with done. If you're done with this, go with done again. So yeah, uh, you know, just go ahead and work with these as much as you want to. Play around with the actual board of monday.com because the more you play with it, the more it's gonna give you an idea of how you can familiarize and comfortably help yourself with this, okay? Because it's a pretty easy software to use and it's a pretty basic software you can get an idea of. Now, moving on, in monday.com what you can do moreover is let's say i'm going to come here you can get integrations as well where you can integrate this with your gmail and google calendar so obviously if you use google on your phone your google calendar probably has you know deadlines for your job or something like that and if it does you can actually integrate your google calendar to let your um, monday.com calendar know that okay this person has tasks on these days these days these days so once you integrate them that gives monday.com an idea that okay i'm gonna let this person know on this day how to do this how to do that etc and then you can also get uh, things like gmail so if you get an email considering uh, you know anything regarding your personal life you can add it into your actual monday.com through the integration then there's automation as well, where you can create custom automations for, you know, Gmail, Google Calendar, Outlook, and a whole lot more. So basically, that's the general idea of how you are going to work with Monday.com as your personal use tool. So yeah, basically, if you enjoyed watching this video all the way till the end, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel. And that's pretty much about it for me. So thank you for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.